How y'all feeling, Sneak Show fam? It's your boy Team on the Sneak Show back with another video, man. If you are new to the channel, on this channel right here, we do do sneaker content, sneaker reviews. We talk about Jordans. I'm a Jordan collector. If you love Jordans, if you love sneakers, this is the channel for you. We do drop consistent content. Every day over here at Team on the Sneak Show, we either dropping a long, we dropping a short. We just keep continuing to bring y'all this sneaker content, man. This particular video right here, we're going to be talking about this month, May, Jordan Retro releases. I normally would do this probably like a few days before the month begins, but, you know, I was sick not too long ago, man. So, man, I was kind of, you know, excuse me for being a little bit late with this video, but the next, but the first Retro Jordan don't even release till tomorrow. Anyway, so yes, we will be talking about these J's. Y'all let me know in the comment section below what Jordans you're going to be going for this month, man. But I ain't going to do a whole lot of talking. Let's get into this video. The first nigga that we're going to be talking about drops Thursday, May 4th. This is the Jordan 2 Women's Cool Gray. They will be costing $175. The colorway is cool gray, ice blue, and white. When we first saw first look images of these several months ago, I made a video stating that Jordan brand should have made extended sizing of these because I would definitely cop. I wear a size 12 in men, which would be a 13 and a half in women's. But these are supposed to be dropping in regular women's sizing. But I still stand by that statement today. This is definitely a clean Air Jordan 2 in my opinion. I just think that the ice blue hits complements the mainly gray suede upper perfectly. And the white midsole rounds off the sneaker nicely as well. Let me know if this is a cop or drop for you. Next up, releasing on Saturday, May 6th, we do have the Jordan 1 High OG White Cements. These are supposed to be releasing for $180. Colorway Tech Gray Mousseline Black White. This sneaker, of course, pays homage to Tinker Hatfield's iconic elephant print design that was first created on the Air Jordan 3. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this print being incorporated on the Air Jordan 1, at least not this colorway, to be honest. But y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about these. Next up, we have the Jordan 5 Low Dongdin or Dong Don coming the same day, May 6th. These will cost $200. The colorway is black, white, lilac, ice pink, rise. These sneakers pay homage to the famous street ball tournament in Beijing, China, which is held every year between the months of May and June. It's the Dong Dan Court, but the sneaker comes in a black Nubuck upper. The tongue is 3M reflective, and there are hits of pink on the shark teeth, the heels, Don, the logo of the Dong Dan tournament as well. These personally, I'm not a fan of Jordan Fire Lows, so y'all, but y'all let me know how y'all feel though. Also releasing on that same day of May 6th, we do have the Air Jordan 2 Cement Gray. These are supposed to be costing $175. This sneaker is very, very simple. Just a white colorway with hits of gray and black. But this sneaker is clean in my opinion. But y'all let me know in the comment section below where y'all be going after these. Releasing on May 10th is the Nigel Sylvester and Jordan Air Ship Every Game. These will cost $140. These sneakers are inspired by the fact that MJ wore his UNC Tar Heel practice shorts underneath his Chicago Bulls uniform every game. The colorway is Summit White Diffused Blue Chambray Sale, paying homage to the UNC colorway, of course. On the back of the heel, the words Every Game replaces what would have been Nike Air. The materials on these is mainly a cracked white leather material with the diffused blue hits being a hairy, uh, I mean a hairy suede. Let me know if y'all will be going after these. On that same exact day of May 10th, we have another colorway of the Jordan Airship Every Game, but these are called the Doom Red. Supposed to drop for $140 as well. Colorway is Summit White, Doom Red, Mystic Red, Coconut Milk. I'm guessing that this colorway is basically just paying homage to the Chicago Bulls colorway because it's just basically white the same as the other pair and just where the blue was is red so i just assume this gotta just be the chicago pair but y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about these
Next up, releasing on May 11th, we have the Air Jordan 11 Low Women's Yellow Snake Skin for $190. This colorway is a new one for the Air Jordan 11 Lows. The upper will be white with the snake skin being tour yellow with hits of sale or white within the snake skin. But y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about these. Releasing two days later on May 13th for $200, we do have the Air Jordan 4 Thunders. This is a highly anticipated sneaker this year. We do see that sneaker app did do a shock drop last month and they did do pretty well the numbers numbers wise these did first release of course 2012 and after 11 years jordan brand decided to bring them back and a lot of people do want these i might go ahead and cop these but i don't know if it's a must cop in my opinion but y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel Releasing on May 18th, we have the Air Jordan 3 Women's Lucky Green. These are dropping for $200. This colorway is a new colorway, of course, for the Air Jordan 3. A mainly white upper, red drunk man on both tongues. Hits a lucky green on the upper and lower eyelids. Lucky green on the backside midsole as well as on the heels. With gray jump man air on the back. Of course, we have that famous elephant print around the toes and heels. But y'all let me know, of course, how y'all feel about these. Next up, we had the Air Jordan 1 High OG Spider-Man across the Spideyverse. These are supposed to be dropping May 20th for $200. Of course, these are inspired by the Spider-Man and his suit. I'm not really digging these, to be completely honest. I know they, they, they just did a shock drop recently, but I didn't go after these, and I'm probably not going to go after these, but y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about these. These are the Air Drone 1 High OG Crafts. These are supposed to be dropping May 27th for $180. I'm not a big fan of these either. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about these, but as you can see, this is a basically a white or a sale upper with hits of... You know pale vanilla and a little bit of like a yellowish type color like sprinkly like kind of look like glittery textile like materials but um yeah man i ain't really feeling these but y'all let me know how y'all feel is this a cop or a drop supposed to be releasing that same exact day of may 27th we have the air jordan 14 laney's these supposed to be costing 210 dollars this sneaker release is what i am the most excited for for this month of may this is a mid-top version of the 1998 og low top version of the same sneaker colorway is varsity royal black varsity maize and white these are fire and I absolutely must cop in my opinion. I'm definitely going after a pair of these. Y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about these. I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload new content like this. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. If you don't follow me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok as well. All handles are the same. Timo the Sneak Show everywhere. If you want to support the channel, hit the link in the description section below. We have t-shirts, hoodies, and more through my shop through Threatless. All support will be greatly appreciated. Until next time, it's your boy. Stay humble, go hard, and don't let nobody stop you. One.